And, and the, the crucial issue here is, as Majid pointed out, that the link between ideas and behavior, which is just uh, denied across the board on what we're calling the, the regressive left side of the political spectrum, and those people who just followed Noam Chomsky off the edge of the world and believe that everything that, that is happening in the Muslim world is the result of U.S. foreign policy. There are no monsters in the world apart from ourselves or those we've made. We created the Mujahideen. We created al-Qaeda. We broke Iraq, and therefore ISIS emerged. Uh, the, the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists were murdered because France teaches, uh, t treats its Muslim population so badly. I mean, this is pure masochism and delusion. There are a set of very illiberal ideas. We're talking about theocracy. We're talking about people who are opposed to gender equality, to gay rights, to free speech above all. I mean, the, the freedom that guarantees all of our intellectual and moral advances. And uh, we have people on the left who will blame, I mean, we have cartoonists who get murdered, liberal cartoonists get murdered for, for drawing cartoons, and people on the left line up to blame the cartoonists for their insensitivity. That's how far this, this rot has spread into the, it, it has driven us into these preposterous moral stances. And that's why I think this conversation I had with Majid was, was, was so valuable to me, because he... Uh, really a alone among, among all the people I've interacted with could clarify these issues from the point of someone who has, who has this lived experience. And yet that hasn't stopped liberals from, from deriding him as an Uncle Tom or a, a porch monkey or a native informant. I mean, these are, these are words that have come from liberal journalists. It, it, it's, it's, it's quite an incredible situation we're in.